Hello, welcome back to Mount Bear Farm. So you can, uh, you know that radio I showed there? That's solar. Uh, let me show you. So this radio is solar. Charge your phone, put headphones in it. Takes DC 5 in. DC 5 out can charge, can be charged, has a wind on it to charge it. Uh, it's actually charging right now, I'm looking at it, the red light's on, that means it's charging AM, FM radio. can run it off AAA batteries if you want, if not it has an internal ion battery. It has a flashlight, it's cool. So the link is in description for this thing, made by EBL, so check it out. That light I showed you. This here. Got a crazy zoom on it. Takes three triple A's. It's awesome. Link is in the description for both of those. Made by EBL. Check them out. So I got a piece of wood up there. Somebody mentioned that. Somebody mentioned a bucket. Somebody else mentioned that. Well, I had wood right there, so there you go. So, it's a little low, a couple spots here, and you can pull that tight, you know, sort something out there, whatever, it'll be alright, I can see it, it's pretty decent there, and uh, yeah, so today I'm gonna get wood. more wood so we got wood there wood there wood there bunch of wood in there obviously the wood there uh, and I got wood back here too actually this here is actually a mix of soft and hardwood that I got in the summer that's just whatever whatever wood but I'm gonna start hauling that hardwood up because it's supposed to snow like excuse me like a foot of snow today and then it's supposed to turn into a ton of rain after that so it's probably gonna get crazy so the first thing I want is my wood the rest of the wood out of that field and then uh, I'm sure Ashley will probably do work on that skirting I'll build the door for it or a hatch of some sort when it gets to that point we're going to do it on the high side and then uh, well other stuff but the wood's going to take a while anyway probably not going to get that all done today because it's supposed to start this morning and all that as long as it's just snowing no big deal if it starts pouring the rain or anything I mean that won't be good but I'm going to get at her right now oh another thing actually I got to do I got to go in here Get my gun cabinet out of there because we're going to close this up and it's still in there. So, got to do that. We're finally getting the camper all closed up for winter. We cleaned up inside, got a bunch of stuff stored in there, and brought the slides in. So, we're not going to tarp it anymore because there's already snow on the roof. And we'll just go up there. It's literally right outside the house. So let's go up one of those big snowfalls and get the snow off. Now we're going to clear off this deck, make room for wood. So I've brought in a ton of wood, knowing that a storm is coming. Stacked up there. Put a bunch of kindling over here. All in behind that blanket, it's more kindling. All in there. I have it all stacked, a bunch of it. And then I stacked a little more wood in the tent here. 
and Jeremy is outside. We've been also building a little Jenny house. We've been talking about doing this for so long and haven't done it yet, so building a little house over it so it doesn't get full of um, freezing rain and ice and everything. And we got the camper closed down now. So yeah, I'm um, going to go get some more wood and I'm going to do a little more skirting before the snow gets too bad. We just stocked up on a whole bunch of water in case we get stuck in here for a couple days. The snow is here, so we got a whole bunch of water, like she said, and we picked up a whole bunch of canned food. We got all that deer meat, so that's good. Bunch of bread. I forgot to get another loaf of bread. Oh yeah. But we got we got lots of food. That deer's the key one. And uh, anyways, I'll show you what we did this morning before we went to town. We wanted to get to town before it got too crazy, because well now it's it's accumulated a lot already. Well, you know, quite a bit. Let me show you here what we did. <laughs> so this is almost like coming into like a little shed. And uh, yeah, I put that up. I got the just kind of a makeshift little thing for the Jenny to sit in. So that's out of the weather and it will kind of keep itself warm by holding in the exhaust and you know, whatever. <laughs> but that's her. But uh, I'm gonna go in and eat, and I'm gonna just keep rolling with that wood. I'm gonna get my plow out of there, and uh, that'll be what I'm gonna do. It'll be a little bit of a little bit of work because there's some stuff in there. But I also gotta get the screen off this door. There, put that away. Lock that, close that door up, stop using it, and just use the other door, but, well, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon, and there's enough snow that Jeremy has to be out there shoveling. Just hasn't stopped all day. Wonderland out here. Lots of snow. Beautiful though. Sorry. I tried to finish more skirting and then I had to quit. crazy we were able to dig out the plow from in there I, d I brought a whole bunch of stuff out of there and put it in the camper and then the plow we pulled out the back and Jeremy's just trying to get it on here right now it looks beautiful but it is wet and cold and it's now turning to ice the pallets are coming down they're actually hurting <laughs> look at this oh look how beautiful our land is That path leads deeper into the land. And this is this is our driveway. Just gorgeous, isn't it? A lot of snow 
to die. Just in time, we got that wood all wrapped up. Today has been crazy. Yes, yeah. yeah. okay my man. It's a beautiful thing. I'm very happy for you guys. So there's a lot that I want to talk about. Before. What was that? Whatever's the in there, is that the hole? I almost oh, fell in the, yeah. I almost fell in the outhouse hole. Dude. Holy frick, that would have yeah, been bad. Yeah, it's turned to rain. I okay, know, it's like ice pellets. First, let me take a step back. Gotta get this you plow on so we can actually plow a little bit around back. here. I think it was six years ago. We stocked up on water and food, so we're good. Here's a post ultimate fighter. Uh, before the ultimate fighter. Okay, but then you... I don't know. Maybe, that would have sucked if I fell in that okay. septic hole. That would have been really wet and cold. Right. That would be cool. Right. I mean, the, the hole for the outhouse. That we never built. 